Welcome to all. Developmental psychologists, they agree that human beings undergoes changes. Whether the changes is taking place gradually or is it taking place abruptly. And in the query of answering this type of question, developmental psychologists studied the developmental process and they have confronted with the three main questions. And these questions, we can state it as issues. Today, we are going to discuss about the issues in child development. In this video, we will discuss the main points such as various issues in child development which can be categorized as nature versus nurture, continuity versus discontinuity, activity versus passivity, universality versus content specific. Let us see what each issue means. Before going into the details of issue, after watching this video, you should be able to classify the various issues in child development, to identify the nature-nurture issue, to elaborate the continuity-discontinuity issues in the context of child development, to identify activity versus passivity issue, to explain universality versus context specific issue. As I have stated above, the developmental psychologists try to answer the human growth based on three fundamental issues. And more than that, we can categorize it as Adding one more dimension, we can state that there are four fundamental issues. The first issue is, is development caused by nature or nurture? Second one, is development more continuous and smooth or discontinuous and stage-like? Thirdly, is development universal or context-specific? Fourth one, is an individual active or passive participants in their development? Let us discuss how this issue has been debated and how it can be resolved. When we look at the first issue, whether development is based on nature or nurture issue. Here, First, let us see what is the meaning of nature. Nature refers to an organism's biological inheritance, whereas nurture refers to an organism's environmental experiences. When we look at the nature and nurture issue, the term nature itself denotes that the developmental process is influenced by nature. Here, nature means the genetic endowments. Then the nurture issue, it states that the developmental process is influenced by nurture. Here, the nurture means the environment where the child is growing up. Let us have a little bit discussion on the nature-nurture issue. In that, we will discuss the viewpoint of nature advocates. The advocates of nature issue stated that development is influenced by biological inheritance. Individuals grow in an orderly way. There is an order. When we look at the different stages of development, we can see that no individual can skip one stage and enter into the other stage. There is an orderly way of development that is from infancy 
the early childhood later childhood early adolescence later adolescence then the early adulthood and the later adulthood and then comes the old age this is the stage specific development so there is an order for an individual next they stated that the genetic blueprint produces commonalities in growth and development and sometimes development may be psychologically barren or hostile environment is influencing or other words we can state that development is influenced by psychologically barren or hostile environment in such cases we can see the developmental process is depressed hence a positive environment a suitable environment a productive environment is needed for developmental process coming to the view points of nurture advocates there the focus is on the experiences of nurture or environment in development the experiences run the gamut from the individual's biological environment to the social environment so here the nature alone or the genetic alone will not influence the developmental process you can see that the cases where the parents nurturing style is different and the home environment is different for different individuals hence students who are coming from different background in a classroom we can see the behavioral patterns are not similar they are different this is because of the influence of the environment hence the nurture advocates always stated that this environment exerts a greater influence so whether it is nature or nurture the main discussion what we can conclude is that we cannot confine the developmental process to one element either nature or nurture alone we can see the mix of influence of both nature and nurture coming to the second issue is the developmental process continuous or discontinuous in this issue we are confronted with two questions such as did you experience sudden and distinct changes in your growth second one was your growth into an individual you are today gradual so here we can see that the first question that is did you experience sudden and distinct changes in your growth it deals with discontinuity issue was your growth into an individual you are today gradual it deals with continuity issue when we look at the screen you can see that how the continuous process is going on it is slow process and it goes on slowly and here when we come to the discontinuous we can see that it is stage specific and the growth is abrupt abruptly the growth is taking place so here we have to discuss about the details about the continuity and discontinuity issue and in this issue the advocate focuses on the extent to which development involves gradual cumulative change or distinct stages developmentalists who focus on experience have described development as a gradual continuous process here the experience we can otherwise state as nurture those on nature describe development as a series of distinct stages there are different stages in the developmental process let us take the example of puberty when we stated that puberty is actually a gradual 
process that occurs several years. That is an example of continuity issue. And when we state that each individual passes through a sequence of stages in which change is qualitatively rather than quantitatively different, that is an example of discontinuity issue. For this, I will give you another example that we know that every individual will walk first. Before walking, they will crawl first. Every child will crawl first, then walk, then stand. So, this example shows that development is a gradual process. It is an example of continuity. Whereas, coming to the discontinuity, we can see that the child who is not able to think abstractly or logically, later on the child is able to think in a logical way. That is a process of example of discontinuity. Or we can say that here the change that happened to the child or so many changes are happening to the child. The changes that happen to the child is qualitatively important rather than quantitatively important. So, there in the discontinuity issue, we can see the qualitative changes are happening upon the child. Coming to the next issue, that is the activity versus passivity issue. And here, here the activeness is based on that when the individuals accept the changes coming as naturally, that denotes the passivity issue. Whereas in the developmental process, the individual is active or the individual is accepting the changes and modifying himself or herself according to the changes that is known as the active process and how it happens is that when the individual accepts the changes and then try to create a qualitative changes or the individual is adjusting with the changes immediately and then qualitatively making changes that is known as an activity issue. So, the individual is very active in the developmental process. Whereas, the individual states that whatever things comes in the midst, that is because of the genetic or because of the nature. So, there, there is no role played by the individual. Here, the developmental process is going on in a passivity rate. But what we will do normally we will always create the environment that is the individuals try to adjust with the environment, find some ways to adjust when some kind of issues happen. That is a case of passivity issue. Coming to the last issue, we can see that the universality versus context specific. There, what is important is that Everybody agree that this developmental process is a sequential and a universal pattern. Yes, it is a sequential and universal pattern, but that alone does not specify the developmental process. Here the universal assumption of development assumes that the path of development is common to all individuals. That means every individual is going through the different stages of development. Whether we cannot say that there is the growth spurt is there, but that growth spurt is the result of the process of different stages of development. The extent to which the developmental changes are different across cultures 
community, society and individuals is an issue of context specific development. We cannot say that as it is universal, the developmental process will be similar in all societies, in all cultures, in all community. It is not like that. Even we will state that each individual is different from one another. So here we can state the context specific development of a child. You know that the way of greeting, the way of rearing style, the habits and the language used by the individual, the tone, Everything is different from culture to culture, society to society and individual to individual. Hence, here comes the importance of context specific development. That is very important in any context. So here we can see that the universal nature of development alone does not specify the developmental process one has to think in terms of the cultural specific, all the context specific developmental process. That is also very much important. So what we have seen today is that in this video we have discussed about the various issues in child development. Hence, the issues can be classified as nature versus nurture issue, continuity versus discontinuity issue, activity versus passivity issue, universality versus content specific issue. So what we can conclude is that there are lot of issues coming up. So the developmental process, the growth, the changes that is happening when a child is in the process of development, cannot be confined to one particular issue. It is the result or it is a mixer of different types of issues and one has to think in terms of either nurture or nature, either continuity or discontinuity, activity versus passivity, universality versus context specific. Then only we can get a holistic picture of developmental process of a child.